Lions fans, this is a day that became a reality really in this moment, pregame last week, when on the video boards here at Ford Field, the Lions decided to play the Cowboys and Packers games. When the cheers started to continue and build up to something, we knew that the Packers defeat the Cowboys and give the Lions an opportunity that with the win against the Rams, they'd host a playoff game for the second consecutive week. After waiting decades to see a home playoff game here, that is what is in store today in downtown Detroit. It's not as frigid, it's not as cold outside, so maybe a few more tailgaters making their way into this stadium, but when they do get down here, take a look. The team on the field, some of the guys getting out here, Michael Badgley among them, the specialists in their all blue uniforms. Jack Fox is out here. The Buccaneers are the team that took down the Eagles, which started the year 10 and one, looked like a formidable NFC and Super Bowl contender yet again. This Bucks team comes in hot. Baker Mayfield, one of those guys that was thrown to the curb by the Cleveland Browns and has made his way back into prominence in the NFL, guiding the Bucks back to this moment. Dan Campbell, Brad Holmes were hired on this day, introduced in their respective jobs as head coach and general manager three years ago to this day. They talked about creating moments like this, making Ford Field so loud you can't hear it. And now a team that beat the Bucks in week six back in October is back to take them on again. One big thing about that game, while both teams have guys that weren't playing in that one healthy for this one, the Lions list is really, really impressive. C.J. Gardner-Johnson leads it. But David Montgomery's right there. He did not suit up for that, or he did suit up for that game, excuse me, but got injured during it and left. It was Jameer Gibbs who didn't suit up for it, among many other players that included Jonah Jackson. The fact that all of these guys are back, healthy and in uniform, against this Bucks team, is gonna be big for this Lions team today. Dan Campbell told us earlier in the week the Bucks have a championship defense, and they had one back in week six. Campbell said they've improved, but he believes his team has improved since that point as well. We're going to have a ton of coverage on all of our social media platforms. Follow us at WXYZ Detroit Channel 7, TikTok, Instagram, X, Facebook, and WXYZ.com. And make sure you get our 7 app. We'll have post-game coverage, in-game coverage, and everything you Lions fans have been salivating for. Waiting decades to see a trip to the NFC Championship is on the line here.